Hi guys, so collecting like terms. So this is one of the first parts of algebra that you will learn. So let's read through what it says here. So you can only add together terms which have the same variable or letter. So variable means letter in maths at the end. Whatever sign is in front of the variable at the start stays weighted when you are collecting the like terms. Uh, so we'll go through that in a second. Uh, the last part here, x equals 1x. So try to remember that x equals 1x. This means that x and 1x are the same thing. So whenever you see an x by itself, or a, it doesn't matter what letter or variable it is, if it's a b or if it's a y or whatever, that means a 1b or 1y. So that's really, really important to remember. Uh, if you So I'm going to go through examples 1 and example 2 in a second. But if you look over to the right-hand side here first, Basically, uh, in algebra, if I had, for example, 2a plus 3a, I can add those together. So, And 2a plus 3a would be 5a. So really all we're kind of doing is we're doing 2 plus 3, and then we're putting an a beside it because they both have a's. Now, if that was 2a plus 3b, uh, I can't add those two things together. All right, so there's no possible way. So if I was to call that, 5a or 5b or 5ab that would be completely wrong so i have to leave them separate so i can't actually do anything with 2a and 3b i just have to leave them as they are so um if we were to look at something like maybe 2x plus 3x minus 4x for example um, because all of those have x's, then I can just do 2x plus 3x, that's 5x, minus 4x is 1x or x. So 1x or x would be the answer to that. So, but that's because they all have x's on the ends of them. So let's look at our two examples here anyway. First one, I've got 4r plus 9c plus 9r plus 9c. So in this example, some of them are R's and some of them are C's. So what we're going to do is we're going to you, we're going to put the like terms together. And that's what I that's what we mean by collecting the like terms. So my next line here, and these are the workings that you must show. I'm going to do four R, and then I'm going to do the plus nine R. Uh, so if you think about it, we've got um, four different terms here. Uh, this sentence um, up here, so whatever sign is in front of the variable at the start stays with it. That's really important, not necessarily for this example, but uh, you'll see in example two, that's a, a plus 9r in this. So the plus in front of the 9r stays with it, so it's a plus 9r. Then I'm going to put the c's together, so plus 9c. And then the, the last term is also a plus 9c. So all I've done in this line is I've rewritten it, but I've put the r's together and I've put the c's together. Then I can I can just add the two r's together. So 4r plus 9r, well, that would be 13r. And then I can add the two c's together. So 9c plus 9c is 18c. So 13r plus 18c is the final answer. And remember, I can't add an R to a C, so I can't add 13 and 18 there and call it 31 R C or something like that. So that's wrong. Uh, that's my final answer. Uh, second example then. So we've got 5L minus 3F plus 5L minus 9F. So I'm going to put these boxes around again. Uh, so you'll see why in a second. So this sign, this sentence here is really important in this example. Whatever sign is in front of the variable at the start stays with it, okay? Now this is a positive 5L starting off anyway. So I'm going to write down 5L. And then I'm going to look for the other Ls. So I can see that there's another 5L actually in uh, here as well. And I can see that there's a plus in front of that 5L. Now that plus is really important. See people make mistakes on this all the time. Because that's a plus 5L, the plus 5L.
comes down here. So that plus that's in, in front of it in the first line stays with it in the second line. Next, I'm going to put together the Fs because there's two Fs. There's a minus 3F and there's a minus 9F. And again, that minus that's in front of the tree, that stays with it down here. So minus 3F. So the minus goes down onto the next line as well, the minus 3F. Then there's a minus 9F, so minus 9F. And the sign, and the sign in front of that 9 is a minus as well, so the minus comes down onto the next line. Uh, then I can just combine the two. So first of all, I've got 5L plus 5L. Now that's easy enough, that's 10L. The second part is minus 3F take away 9F. So really kind of what I'm thinking about here is I'm thinking about what is minus 3 take away 9. And you need to be comfortable with your negative numbers, your minus numbers uh, in order to do this. But minus 3 minus 9, if you go back and you look at a number line, if you go to minus 3 on a number line, then you're subtracting, so you're going to left to the left on the number line. Uh, you're going 9 to the left, so you'll get to minus 12. So the answer to this is actually minus 12f. So your final answer to the question is 10l minus 12f. Or if you're uh, if if you don't really understand that part with the negatives, what you can do is you can put minus 3 minus 9 into your calculator, and it should give you minus 12. Okay, so here's two questions. So if you want to pause the video now and have a go at those two questions and then play it on and I'll go through the answers. Right, so answer to question one. I've got a positive 2a, then I've got a positive 3b, then I've got a minus 4a, and then I've got a a plus 2b. So I'm going to put the like terms together. So I'm going to take 2a and I can see that there's a minus 4a and that minus that's in front of the 4 comes down to the next line. So minus 4a. Then I've got a, a plus 3b and then I've got a plus 2b. So first of all I've got 2a minus 4a so 2a minus 4a, so really what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking what, what is 2 minus 4? Well, 2 take away 4 means you're going back into the minus numbers, so you're getting minus 2a. So minus 2a is the first part of your answer. Second part is 3b plus 2b, so 3b plus 2b is 5b. So And it's a plus 5b, obviously, because plus 3b plus 2b is plus 5b. So minus 2a plus 5b. That's the answer to the question one. Question two then. Uh, so again, I'm just putting these little boxes around it first so you don't really have to put these boxes when you get comfortable with them. But they're good at the start just to highlight the fact that the, sim the sign in front, if it's a plus or if it's a minus, it stays with the uh, term onto the next line. So uh, I'm going to put the x's together first. So I've got a 5x, that's a positive 5x, and that's a minus 3x. So I'm going to, so 5x minus 3x. Then that's a minus 2y in the first line. And that's a minus 4y. So 5x minus 3x, that's 2x. Then you've got minus 2y take away 4y so again you're, you're kind of thinking about what is minus 2 take away 4 so minus 2 take away 4 you can put that into your calculator again if you want if you're not sure 
but minus two take away four will be minus six. So I'm gonna get minus six y there. So two x minus six y, that's the answer to question two.